She starred in the Oscar-nominated film Water. She's conquered cancer and has become a major advocate for stem cell research. She's none other than the beautiful Lisa Ray, and today we're in studio with her for an exclusive photo shoot and interview for City Life Magazine. Lisa, you just had a photo shoot with City Life Magazine. We're very happy to have you here. Why don't you tell me how it went today? It was, it was an awesome day. It's just one of those feel-good shoots, and I love the looks that we did. I love working with Dean. It was, a, it was a pleasure, and Michelle was here, and everyone was kind of really involved, and you know, throwing their energy into the mix. So I, I'm excited about the results. I can't wait to see it. And I think that there was a little bit of a great kind of classic vintage feel about the shoot, which is you know something I love doing. You sort of come alive, and it's so visible when you get in front of the lens. Tell me, tell me about that. What's the secret? Some people look better in real life. I look better on camera. <laughs> and, I know, and I know it, that's part of my USP. I love working in front of the camera. It's just something I've been doing for 20 odd years. So it's, it's a comfort level. And I, I think I enjoyed it even more these days because I'm not doing it as regularly as I used to. When I was a full-time model, I started my career modeling. And it gets to be a drag after a while. People are poking at you and pulling at you. And now I just kind of, um, you know, I enjoy having these experiences. A lot of times I, we like to ask people, you know, how important is passion in your career and what you do, but you seem to have this sort of passion for life in general that sort of spreads into everything you do. Where does that come from and how important is that to you? I think part of it comes from being a cancer graduate. Um, there is that, that's added an extra dimension to my life. But um, I don't know, I'm just really high on life these days and, uh, and, and I certainly hope that this continues. Um, there isn't a clear recipe or secret, you know, and I think that, you know, life is just such an ongoing journey and we go through these, you know, these, these highs and these lows. Um, but, you know, I'm great, you know, I'm really grateful to be on this high these days and, and, and I think that, you know, again, you know, you put something out there and it comes back. So I'm really fortunate because I'm surrounded by great people these days and, and I draw a lot of goodwill and energy from them. You, you mentioned you are a cancer graduate. Can you tell me a little bit about that experience and perhaps why you've become an advocate for stem cell research? Well, first of all, I'm a recipient of a stem cell transplant and that's probably one of the reasons why I'm here today and why I'm feeling so great as well. Um, so it, it was a natural um, segue, you know, ha during my cancer journey uh, or my journey towards becoming a cancer graduate, there were so many people that supported me unconditionally. So you come out the other end and you think, how can I pay this forward? That's, that was sort of the, the, the thing that was uppermost in my mind. As soon as you know you gain your energy, you, you're back in the world or engaged in the world again, um, you can't forget. And it's, and it's important never to forget and to keep paying it forward in whatever way possible. And obviously stem cell technology, um, because I've had the, um, the privilege of actually going into labs at the McEwen Center for Regenerative Medicine and seeing what is actually happening in this field of science, it just blew my mind. And it's going to blow, like literally blow the roof off of our perceptions and, and, and I think it's going to be the next big leap in medicine. So I think it's in everybody's, it's in everybody's advantage to educate yourself about this. You seem to have so much going on right now. Why don't you give us some insight on what's next for you? Um, I have my yoga studio, Moksha Yoga Brampton, which is opening on May 15th. Um, in the middle of writing a memoir, and, uh, and I'm going to be on stage after years and years and years and years for Luminato this year, about mid-June. Um, the IFA Awards are also coming up in June, and my TLC series will be coming out. So yes, you know, that sure sounds like a great list, but you know, I want to emphasize that I'm trying to find the balance, and you have to find space for yourself, and everybody's really busy. You know, I don't think that just uh, being busy all the time in and of itself is an achievement. I think you have to find balance and find uh, exactly what works for you. So frankly, after this spate of busy work, I'm really looking forward to like taking off a couple of months and spending time with friends and family. And for me, uppermost in my list is relationships. That's really important. That's what keeps you grounded and happy. Hi everyone, this is Lisa Ray and you are watching City Life TV.